What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're primarily going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. Before I jumped into that and go on over the potential chance of a third writer or even new writers or a certain writer being replaced in the upcoming film, I did want to touch on the cast of Maxine that has now been officially announced and I guess confirmed because these were some of these people are actually rumored in another casting list that I went over uh, a few a few weeks ago. But the cast of Maxine again has been made official. Mia Goth will be joined by Elizabeth Debicki, Moses Sumney, Michelle Monaghan, or Manigan, Monaghan, Bobby Cannavale, Lily Collins, Halsey, Giancarlo Esposito, and Kevin Bacon are all set to be starring in the upcoming trilogy conclusion to X, which we know released last year, along with Pearl. Now, filming is set to start this month out in Los Angeles. I recall again, like I said yesterday in my other video, production list actually claimed that filming began on April 3rd, but I guess it might not have, unless this is just not telling us that it actually did start. It's just saying that it starts filming this month, which it could actually have already started because production listing does say it began filming on April 3rd, but I guess we'll see if we get another filming has begun announcement of some sort but maxine is said to be taking the place after the events of x well not said to be we know it is <laughs> and it's following maxine as the sole survivor of the farmhouse massacre who continues her journey towards fame as she sets out to make make it as an actress in 1980s los angeles the hollywood reporter which is where i'm getting this information from also pointed out that according to sources it will deal with the dangerous world of underground filmmaking Character details are being kept secret, but what is known does point that way. Esposito plays an agent for adult film and Z-list movie actors, while DeBicki is a film director. Monaghan and Cannavale are LAPD detectives, while Bacon is a private detective. So it's tackling subject matter that I was expecting this movie to tackle, which makes me happy. Kevin Bacon's role being confirmed also makes me happy because, again, him and Halsey are the only two I can think of that I know I mentioned were going to be part of this project. In another video I had done at the time when this was just a rumored cast of people and Kevin Bacon and Halsey were a part of that list. Now, you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you're excited for them to tackle and commentate on the adult entertainment industry. What do you think they're going to say about the industry? Uh, I really don't want anything to be shameful in any way towards that industry. I don't want that. Uh, but maybe they can just highlight the negatives that come with it. That's really all that I think you can do. Uh, that should be done really because we know screen three at one point tackled the casting couch maybe you can do something like that tackling the casting couch and just go over some of the negatives that might come from you choosing that life thinking you're ready for it and maybe you aren't or something i don't know what type of angle they're going to take but it's clear they will commentate on the dangers that exist within that industry but jumping into scream seven scream seven guy Busick was on the Don't Go There Horror podcast recently, and shout out to UK for bringing this to my attention. Guy Busick was asked how he sees his and James Vanderbilt's contribution to the series ending, if they see it as a trilogy, or if they'd stick around as long as they are asked. Guy responded with a comment about how he needed to be careful with what he says, and then he stated, I think the franchise benefits from new blood. It's really exciting to me when I read something about a franchise that I love, and there's a new creative force that's coming in that's going to bring a different flavor. So this has many people interpreting it different ways. Me personally, I took this as a self-referential take in the sense of he's talking about the fact that him, Guy, or Guy and James and the entire Radio Silence team, what they have done with Scream 5 and 6, they are the new blood and they'll continue to be the new blood going into Scream 7. Or, of course, he could be referring to the fact that in Scream 7, Guy Busick and James Vanderbilt aren't the ones that wrote Scream 7, although I do have my doubts about that. The other more likely scenario I do see here is that Guy Busick and his commitment to Final Destination 6, because many people might have forgotten this, he is one of the co-writers for Final Destination 6. Maybe that called for a third person to come in and they contributed to the story a lot more than Guy Busick did. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe Guy and James are both back, but there's a third individual who joined them this time to make up for any commitments that might have kept one or the other from being able to fully commit to the Scream 7 screenplay. That's just something else I could see playing out. I don't think we have to worry about the writers being gone. I think the biggest possibility we have of a recast is with our directors. I do. I think that's the biggest possibility that we have here of having new directors or a new director, because, of course, you don't have to have a duo. Uh, the writers, I think, are locked, but I don't think it's impossible for a third individual to be joining them. Now, they could, of course, all be replaced 
and Radio Silence could be gone. Guy and James could be gone. But the fact that he said he needed to be careful about what he could say, I mean, tells me you're committed to this project in some capacity. Or maybe there was something he just had to sign while exiting that keeps him from still talking about the project. But I still think that he's a part of it. I don't think you have to worry about the writers being changed. If anything, there might possibly be a third person joining the mix. Who should that third person be? I mean, honestly, if it's up to me and if it's up to many of you guys, I think we all know who we would want to join. It's Kevin Williamson. Many people think they would want, many people have stated they want to see Kevin Williamson take over as director, which is fine to me. Uh, if he's down for it, go ahead and do what you got to do. But Kevin Williamson, again, keep in mind, he's supposed to be writing the upcoming an upcoming episode of crystal lake maybe he's already done that and maybe while he was doing that he did find time to pitch in and actually contribute to scream 7 in a writing capacity more so than he ever was committing to it in scream 6 or scream 5 besides just being the executive producer so maybe kevin williamson has joined in as a third writer for this upcoming film or maybe you're going to get something from just throwing out a random name jordan peele now jordan peele i know already if you started scrunching your nose i'm not saying that jordan peele needs to come in here and start tackling all these different race topics that's not what i'm saying i just think that someone like jordan peele and what he is able to do and what i've seen him able to do with the genre he understands that balance between horror humor and how to blend it very well i think he gets that and i think he would be a great piece to a screen movie not necessarily the sole person but i just think he could definitely contribute to a screen movie in a very positive way uh, and any Jordan Peele negativity down in the comment section below, I'm not going to pay attention to it. <laughs> but you guys let me know what you think about this all down in the comment section below. Do you think that Guy Busick will not be participating in Scream 7? How do you interpret his comments? And again, I do want to reiterate that none of this is confirmed. He said a simple thing. It's being interpreted different ways. Whether or not he is participating or not, that is going to be announced in the official Scream 7 Greenland announcement I expect will be right around the corner because one way or another Scream 7 is coming. It's just a matter of getting things in order so you don't have to worry about any of that train wreck stuff that happened early on when Nev Campbell wasn't participating in Scream 6. So again, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video